Welcome folks, a food stop, powered by Rocket Cheese and way to go. And Mercado is where we are. And today I'm gonna to have some of uh, their main course specialties. Really looking forward to this one. Thank you for watching on Zendigi TV. Perfect. Jill, as you can see, this is so cool that I'm actually uh, taking it on my phone as well. Right? <laughs> this is your uh, flambe steak. Flambe steak. Ribeye steak, yes. Wow. So now, uh, tell me, how, uh, before you and we proceed, you know, I just want to give you uh, the hamper from one of our sponsors, Raka Cheese. Oh, wow. The samples wonderful. are there, so make sure you try them out. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Thank you very much. Yeah. Wow. So. My sizzling steak is here, but what is that? Looks very interesting, man. So what you have here is a mushroom salbute. This is one of our main course dishes. Okay. It's a vegetarian option. You have a corn dough at the bottom, which is stuffed with black. Corn beans. has to be there. Yes, it has to be. <laughs> wow. So I can see you've not forgotten the the vegetarians as well. Yeah, no. I know. I had to make sure because I'm vegetarian. You know, we, we get guys saying that. You know, it's okay. You have to. You don't focus much on vegetarians and this and that. So here you go, guys. The owner is a veg as well. So. You know, you are taken care of over here, right? Exactly. So tell me more about the steak as well. It looks awesome, man. Uh, so the steak, it's actually got a lot of uh, little seasoning, if you can see. Wow. Different yeah. types of uh, spices. Yeah. We, in fact, use about 19 different types of chilies in our kitchen. Hang on, hang on, hang on. One, nine. 19 yes. different types of chilies. All from Mexico. Wow. But each chili, it's not that it gives you uh, the spice, it's actually uh -huh. to give you the flavor. The flavor. So each different chili, you know how we saw with the salsas, yeah. it gives you a different flavor. Yeah. Each different, uh, now we use it for seasoning in different dishes. So, so this steak has been seasoned by 19 different chilies? Uh, this one doesn't have nine. We have 19 in the kitchen, but this one maybe two or three okay. the chef has selected chef for a particular type of okay. flavor. Let me know about your boga over here. No, no, try some. <laughs> No, you, you, I love mushrooms, but tell me how is it? Oh, this is my, this is my favorite main course, so I had to get it. So the vegetarians are taking. And I'm hungry today, so yeah. Oh, nice, nice, nice. We have a lot of vegetarian options actually. Yeah, maybe you can and, share um, with us some. <clears throat> uh, so this one. Yeah. Then we have another one called the uh, puff pastry, mercado oh. puff pastry. Yeah. Uh, it comes with spiced vegetables with uh, two filo pastries on top. Yeah. And then you have your typical burritos, which you know is very popular. People, yeah. um, people like familiarity. Yeah. Um, I'm going in my steak, man, as you speak about that, yeah. And uh, we're also introducing enchiladas in our new menu, yeah. which is coming soon. Yeah. Uh, so a lot of different options, actually, for uh, vegetarians. Tell me, do I need to pour the sauce or anything on it, or what? No, nah, just dig in. Just dig you in, do, yeah? Actually, you do have a sauce, if is you that, Is if that you like pepper yeah. sauce, or? Uh, this is a chipotle uh, chili sauce. Chipotle? Yeah. Wow. So again, chipotle is one of the 19 chilies that we use. Okay, so here you go, guys. My Chili, I'll just pour some on it. Uh huh. I like how you're serving it in like some cute stuff over here. You know? <laughs> Looks so cute, man. <laughs> so let's try it out. And also, the background music is Mexican and all this place. Like, it gives you that feel. You know, the ambience is right there. Actually, that's been one of the things, you know, whenever people come, you know, they walk yeah. in and they're like, wow, where are we? This is it's really nice. So, like I said, a lot of effort, but it's Paid off well. Yeah. Paid off well. Yeah. And you know, even the chef, we're very lucky with a very hardworking, dedicated yeah. guy. Um, you know, I was told the, the, chef, mind. the chef is called Rahul. <laughs> so I'm like, really, a Mexican chef, and the chef is called Rahul. Yeah. How does that work? With my curiosity, but I actually found a letter on that it was Rahul, Rahul. you know, so it's like uh -huh. Rahul, not Rahul. <laughs> uh, I'm enjoying my steak, guys. Seven, I think later, we yeah. will see the drinks. Mm -hmm. Even our bartender is from Mexico. Uh -huh. His name is Alejandro. So, um, you know, even when it comes to wow. the drinks, you know, we've kept it as authentic as possible. Your steak is um, nice. Wow. Good. Don't tell me even the meat is from Mexico now. <laughs> <laughs> that one we have to keep local. Awesome. I mean, yes, we have the best meat in Kenya. It's nicely seasoned, it's soft, and the sizzler is just there. Mm. It's just right. I mean, seriously. 
Today I close in, huh? Yeah. Oh, you're there, I can see you. There's something about this steak you're not telling. That's those chilies. Hmm? It's those chilies. But it's not chili at all. It's just that's the that's the beauty of the chili. It gives you the flavor it's got without a flavor. giving you it's the got a, It's got a very nice flavor. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's like a steak, but it's like a. This is not street food now. This is like high five food over here, man. So this is yeah. I think you wanted the whole start a main course the experience. Yeah, so we've yeah. given you we've given you that. <laughs> so we cater for next time when you come with all your girlfriends. Maybe you yeah. can order a lot of street food. Mm, Different ones. Then you just dig in. Yeah, and then you can dig in, yeah, exactly. But then after all, they'll tell me, how am I in Costa Rica? This is nice. Your steak is really good. So, tell me now, in terms of your specialty main courses, apart from the steak, do you, you don't do burgers and all that, or how how do you classify yourself in terms of a restaurant? This is a new question I ask everyone. So we like to we like to call ourselves a contemporary casual dining restaurant. Mm -hmm. So you know you're not. Um, you know, our prices are very fair and reasonable. Again, mm. something that a lot of customers have been very happy about. Mm. And, uh, you know, even though you'll see, you know, which, again, and your coming, portions coming are big. This, this is exactly the portion the customers get. Exactly, yeah. Wow. The portions are quite big. You know, the yeah. chef, like uh, like I mentioned, mm. you know, he's worked in France. He's worked in a lot of fine dining restaurants. So you, the presentation you'll get and the experience you'll get is you're in a fine dining place. Mm. So you look at the environment, it's very casual. The prices are not reflective of a fine dining place. Mm. So you get a nice mix, you know, you get a good experience. Yeah. But, um, you know, it's easy on the pocket as well. Yeah. Nope. Um, I think next what you're going to be seeing is um, is the dish. I think you're you're going to be experiencing, you know, mm. cooking in the kitchen with the chef. Yeah. Uh, that's our you know kind of signature dish. It's called the chicken mole. Um, but I leave that to the chef to explain Dude, to you. Dude, this chicken is good. Mm -hmm. It's bad. It's, it's very good. It's it's like it's just rare. It's not like very rare. It's like medium rare. It, it's just right and it's juicy mm -hmm. and it's flavory, you know, it's not bland mm -hmm. and, and the sauce is not like, you know, sometimes when you add the sauce to it, you don't taste the steak as such, you just yeah. taste the sauce and it's all about the sauce. It's flavory. It's a good balance. It, it's good. What about your mushroom? Would you say it's areva or no? Would I say is it a? Is it areva or no? Oh, it is areva. <laughs> From <laughs> the beginning, <know>. yeah. <laughs> So like each and every one of these dishes, we actually started with about 200 dishes on the on the menu. And you tried chef, each one of them and said, We tried yes, each yes, one, no. you know, we got a lot of people from different market segments. Yeah. We did tastings for about five weeks. Yeah. Uh, at least 200 different people wow. were involved in the tasting. Yeah. And then, you know, we took the feedback and then we narrowed down and we've selected 70 dishes which are now on our menu. 70 dishes. Now, so how, 70. how do you maintain your consistency in that? A lot of training. Mm. Almost, uh, you know, that six week period was already our training had started and after that another four weeks. So all the guys in there, you know, two yeah. almost over two months of uh, full on training. Wow. So and to like set... I said, the chef is a very hard worker. You know, he comes here at nine o'clock. Yeah. So he stays till 2 a.m. in the morning when they're closing up wow. and he'll be back by nine. So, you know, he's he's the main guy. And Maybe he's we, we can well. share with the viewers like your, your timings and your, are you open seven days or are you closed on Mondays, like one of those places? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we are closed on Mondays. Okay, yes, yeah. yeah. We open Tuesday uh, to Sunday. Usually we open at uh, noon. Yeah. So we do a lunch service. And then in the afternoon, we are still open, but we offer a limited uh, limited menu. Okay. So, so there's a separate menu. A lot of for bites. Us. Yeah. Okay, so uh, a lot of smaller dishes. We've actually added quite a few now. So it's not really such a limited wow. menu as such. I'm loving this day. And on Sunday, you need to mm. come back for Sunday. Every mm. Sunday we open at 10 because we do Sunday brunch. Mm. So, so breakfast is there only on Sundays? Only on Sundays. And we have a completely uh, different menu for that. Maybe you can share with and us uh, what the, what's the brunch all about. So, you know... Is it a Mexican like, brunch or...? 100% Mexican. Mm. You know how I'm talking about enchiladas? Yeah. So enchiladas are very popular in Mexico as a breakfast item. So we have that on our brunch menu. We have a few other dishes, something called an enmolada, which is uh, kind of similar to what, what I'm eating here. Yeah but in a different kind of sauce, with a different kind of presentation, but you know, you have the corn with a bit of mm, beans. Mm, mm. Uh, we've taken a Mexican twist also to your, you know, classic breakfast dishes. Yes, yes, yes. So you've got your, you know, uh, omelets uh, yeah. with a bit of a uh, avocado side. Oh, okay. Uh, you've got an avocado uh, cheese on toast. Yeah. So we've, um, we've also so incorporated like a the classics in. 
Now it's an a la carte menu. A la carte menu, so okay. sit down, you know, okay. you order what you want. Okay, so Sunday brunch, guys, you don't have... Mm -hmm. uh, you love your gatia jalebi, I know, but this Mexican <laughs> stuff is off the hook. Something different, you gotta try it out. As for now, I'm loving my... I mean, this steak is so good, dude. I haven't even touched my greens or my... Oh my fries, man. Seriously, I'm, I'm loving it. For me, the steak is Arriva. I'll give it an Arriva. Trust me, this is the... I'll recommend it. Make sure they get the same service and the same taste, because this taste is simply Arriva. And uh, as for now, I know you got a rush and everything. Last but not least, where, so, where, where, where do we see Mercado now? I mean, are you going to start doing outside catering? Or are you gonna... What, what's the plan now? Or we do we already... see a few in a few, a few other outlets? Or where are you heading now? So we, we already have um, a lot of requests for catering. We've done one or two smaller projects mm -hmm. and uh, we're looking to expand that side of uh, our business. Yeah. And in the next month or so, we're going to be offering a full-scale uh, catering service. And uh, there are a few other, not only Mexican, but there are a lot of different concepts that, yeah. uh, like I said, my brother and I are working on. Yeah. Uh, so we'll I, I, I don't want to spoil the surprise. Some I don't want to spoil the surprise. So in terms of deliveries and all, do you guys deliver now? Yeah, so we do food deliveries. Yeah. Um, it's you can you can also do a takeaway and collect, mm -hmm. or you can go through uh, Jumia Food yeah. or uh, Yum, yeah. and we're on both those portals. You can order whatever you like, and it's delivered straight to you. So to get this yummy Mexican food, it's easy. Very easy. Easy peasy. Otherwise, you can just come to their place, Westlands. Well, what's the name of this building, by the way? So it's Kenrail Towers. Kenrail Towers. So it's just um, off uh, Sarit Center roundabout, next to Nine West building. And we're on the terrace floor. So there's a big sign on the building saying Kenrail Towers. There's an even bigger sign saying Mercado. <laughs> and if you come so. in the evening, trust me, it's the most lit place you'll see over here. So exactly. that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and keep it here.